Hello! Welcome back to my little corner of the internet. I am Katie, and it's been a while <laughs> since I've talked in one of my YouTube videos. I have been gone longer than I expected to be gone from my channel, but that's life. Um, today, it's another BoxyCharm unboxing. My July base box came in the mail today, and I am... Um, elated with the variation that I got. Um, normally I feel, well last month I was excited by my boxy lux, but the May box I didn't love so much. And this one, Magnifique, Chef's Kiss, all of the above, it's excellent. So I'm excited to talk about that, unbox, and try the new products that I'm so excited about, and yeah, <laughs> Winnie wants to say hi. She's crazy. Um, but yeah, here's my boxy charm. So, I actually got a card this month. Winnie. Okay, so the theme this month is BoxyCharm Sunshine, which makes a whole lot of sense because it's July. <laughs> so the first thing I got in my box is a serum, anti-aging serum, like anti-pollutant, antioxidants, you know. A daytime booster to fortify your skin against the harmful aggressors of the digital age. Okay. This unique booster shields the skin against physical and blue light pollution through a powerful combination of peptides and antioxidants. Holy crap. It's called 111 Skin Def Y2 Pollution Defiance Protector, whatever. The MSRP is $135. What? For the harmful aggressors of the digital age? I cannot. Wow, what a reach. <laughs> anyway, I guess I'll try this. Um, directions, shake well before use. I guess that's all. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. Anyway, <laughs> shake um, one to two drops. Okay, my skin is um, fine. I just cleaned it, though so it's kind of goopy. Okay, here we go. Ooh, the sun's back out. <sighs> so um, I'm going to keep unboxing the box, but. So I haven't really filmed talking in a month and um, Blake and I, and Winnie of course, we moved to a new neighborhood, still in Chicago, but it just took up a lot more of my time than I expected and expected. And also you girls just been spending way more time studying this past month than creating YouTube videos. So I have been studying and <laughs> like having tough combos with family and work and friends and you know just uh reckoning with my whiteness that's been my priority so yeah I'm back now though Winnie but anyway this is the new apartment and I love it because the light is awesome here Anyway, keeping on going. Next item I'm so excited about is an Hourglass Scattered Light Glimmer Eyeshadow. I have heard so many good things about these. The description says a weightless refined glitter eyeshadow infused with light reflecting pearls to create a high impact sparkling eyes. The unique hybrid cream formula creates reflective buildable dimension for everything from a delicate glimmer to an intense prismatic finish. And the MSRP is $29 hairs. Wow. 
wow, wow, yeah. The shade I got is called Reflect. Okay, come on. Come, come. Okay. Yee. I'm excited. It's really pretty. It's like pinky, a very good shade. Yeah. Oh, I cannot wait to try this. Can't wait to try this. Anyway, so that's good. The next palette I got, this is seriously the exact variation I wanted. I got the Ace Beauté Bronzed in Paradise palette. This is a bronzer palette by Ace Beauté, which is a an indie brand that I really enjoy. And I'm excited to try new bronzers. This is like the best July <laughs> box. I'm excited to try these. Okay. And then the next item is, I'm so excited. Okay, so last week, the week before, I don't even remember the timing, but I just ordered Alamar Cosmetics new birthday suit lip gloss and lip liner, and I love it. It's perfect for me. And guess what I just got? I got their limited edition BoxyCharm birthday suit lip gloss. So I have two of them now. I'll keep one here at my um, vanity and then I'll probably keep this one in my purse. I'm excited. So there's that. And then the last item is the cream, the cream shop next gen blender set. Oh, by the way, the Alamar MSRP is $15 and Ace Beauté bronze palette is a $30. MSRP, by the way, if you're not familiar, is manufacturer suggested retail. MSRP is manufactured suggested retail price. It was $30 for the Ace Beauté bronzer palette. $15 for the Alamar gloss, and then $22 for these two blending sponges, and I'm really excited to have these. Um, I'm, I'm gonna use this one, and it's already dampened. So, here we go, I'm excited. Um, by the way, that serum sunk into my skin nicely, feels really good, so that's good. I'm gonna use um, my June Boxy Charm, I got this Pureless, Pureless, I don't know how to pronounce it. This Perfect Glow BB Cream, and I'm gonna use that today, so I guess I'll use it on the back of my hand. Fantastic. This just goes on my cheeks. And so Blake and I moved closer to Lake Michigan and still in Chicago, of course. And today we went out by the lake, hung out with the puppy and each other, and it was just perfect. Honestly, a perfect day. The It's like 75 degrees and sunny, which it's been super hot all week, like in the 90s. I mean, it's been hot all over the country this week, I believe people everywhere and basically everybody was like wow it's been hot this week so we took advantage of the 75 and sunny day and I'm just like so happy <laughs> so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and blend out this BB cream with the sponge and here we go
I'm trying is this bronzer palette. I love these, by the way. Very good sponges. I'm gonna use my Sigma F23 Soft Angled Contour Brush. I'm gonna first dip into the lightest shade. It's probably gonna be too light for me, but I just wanna try that first. So far, so good. Just as a base shade. going to contour my nose with this lightest shade and my um, Real Techniques base shadow brush. I like to use this to contour my nose. I love that this little palette has a mirror. It's very convenient. All right, next I'm going to use my fan brush. Wait, where is it? My ColourPop F13 fan brush. One sec. And this brush. My brushes need to be clean, don't judge. Next lightest color here. I'm gonna put that above the lightest shade here. do the next darkest one. I'm not going to do the darkest shade, but this, this one I can probably get away with, but that's a bit dark for me, but so we're not going to go there. But I do think this one will work. All right. which I already know I love, but anyway, let's do the eyeshadows. I'm gonna just try it first to see how I put my finger in. Again, this shade is called Reflect. I'm very excited. Ooh, very pretty. And thank you, Sun, for coming out. Anyway, that's very pretty. I'm gonna use the topper, or the Hourglass Glimmer Scattered Lights, or whatever the frick it's called. I'm gonna wear that as the topper, and then this is the ABHX Carly Bible Palette and the Jackie Ina Palette. Both are Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm gonna use the pink mattes. I'll point it out first. I'm gonna go in the shade Bible, right here. <laughs> All right, next, going into the shade pinker right here with the same brush. And I'm just going to take it at the same, just deepening up my crease here. Same spot. Just adding a bit more of a berry tone to the already mauve shade that was on my transition. In my transition. Words are hard. <laughs> Very pigmented, and I'm just gonna go around 
rocky edges outside here. <laughs> just a blending shade for me. It's like a white shade. So yeah, my AC was going that whole time. Hope that wasn't disturbing you. It is what it is. I don't want to melt. <laughs> Carly Bible palette once again into the shade Stev. This red shade. That's gonna be a good move. Let's see though. Glitter eyeshadow in the shade Reflect. Here we go. Wow. That's gorgeous. <laughs> wow. I'm so excited that this is in my collection. Wow. This is a really good product. I've heard so many good things about these Hourglass. Um, Singer single <laughs> scattered light glasses. Why can't I remember the name of this? Anyway, I've heard so many good things about these. And I can confirm. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Really pretty. Whoa. Yay. That's pretty. I think I'm going to add a little of this red glimmer here. Aura from the Carly Bible palette. Yeah, that looks good together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -mm. So pretty. So pretty. I'm so excited about this box. Everything has been a hit so far. I never do just like a simple pink look like this. It's quite nice, quite nice. I'm really loving it. Okay, last product will be the Alomar birthday suit. I'm excited for that. Getting to my lashes now first. sure the class is the same formula. I'm sure it is, but I love it, by the way. I want to add just a bit of depth with the Alomar Dulce lip liner as well. Here goes the gloss. It's so pretty. Oh, it's the same. <laughs> box is 10 out of 10. Probably one of the best boxes I've ever received in the history of BoxyCharm, <laughs> which I've been subscribed for like two years. So yeah, this one was great. What is my favorite item? Hmm. 
Honestly, probably the lip gloss, even though I already bought a tube. I guess that means it's my favorite because I would have bought it otherwise. <laughs> so I'm just so glad to have a second one. Um, I really, really love the Hourglass eyeshadow. It's quite beautiful. If I do say so myself. And I love this bronzer palette. And honestly, I like the sponges and I need a new sponges. So quite convenient. Yeah, I guess I'm not canceling my box. <laughs> it's really, this one was really good. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, maybe leave a comment. Consider it, consider it. And then why don't you watch another video? I filmed several this year. I've filmed a few. Perhaps one of them's of interest? Maybe give it a shot. Anyway, thank you so much for watching my July BoxyCharm unboxing and try on, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!